Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalepa. It is 7 o'clock on your Thursday morning, and we continue to follow breaking news from overnight in Hartford, where a murder investigation is underway on Babcock Street. We know that the victim was identified as 31-year-old Heriberto Garcia of Hartford. Garcia was found in his car with a gunshot wound, and this all happened right around 11.30 last night. Police have been reviewing their cameras and private video to try and help with this investigation. And it's disheartening. It's, it is upsetting. It's been a very, a very busy week in the city. Um, we're out there. Uh, the chief, the mayor, very concerned, obviously. Um, it's all hands on deck at this point. This is the ninth murder in Hartford this year, and anyone with any information or tips should call Hartford Police. And in Flameville, about 40 people are temporarily displaced after a fire ended up causing some damage at an apartment complex. Neighbors say that this fire started just before 5 this morning on East Main Street. And firefighters tell us they had to evacuate about 20 apartments, but thankfully no one was hurt. Connor, over to you. Thanks, Nicole. We are looking at a busy couple of days here in the Weather Center, starting off with rain for today. We're going to go from spring weather to winter weather, so I want you to kind of picture the next couple of days as early January, so it's it's kind of cold, but not cold enough for widespread snow. It's going to be muddy outside. It's going to be wet. It's going to be damp, and that's what we got on deck here, eventually leading to those snow showers by the time we get to tomorrow morning, but we're starting off with beneficial rain, so uh, really all smiles for today. You want to, you know, kind of navigate your day through the rain showers. It's a big part of uh, doing anything outside, but we need the rain big time. Don't really need the snow, but that's what we get with this one. Waterbury, we're looking at rain showers right now, so all the surfaces on the roads are wet. It's been raining for quite some time, 46 degrees, and it's it could easily be tomorrow afternoon that we finally get our next break in the rain, but we should see a few pauses, but overall looking at steady rainfall through the late morning into the early afternoon. New London, 46 degrees, east breeze of 17 miles per hour, so pretty breezy over there at the moment in some of those exposed areas across that eastward on the sound. 48 degrees in Windsor Locks, 46 in Groton, 46 in Chester at the moment. Here's a look at those rain showers that are ongoing across Waterbury into New Haven. In Litchfield County, we're picking up some of those heavy downpours. Simsbury in between some of those light rain showers. Naugatuck, Waterbury, Morris all picking up some of those light rain showers. A bit more isolated where we're seeing those heavier downpours and a bit more widespread sustained showers across those areas down into the Connecticut River Valley. Uh, e an easy inch for today, and then we're talking about another inch of that rain snow water equivalent, equivalent for tomorrow. A lot of places are over two inches in that rain deficit. So this, uh, you know, you do the math here, and we're, we're looking pretty good um, after we get through this event. Three to six inches still possible for the Northwest Hills. The forecast compared to yesterday has trended slightly lower, not substantially. There is still a great deal of forecast uncertainty with this particular storm system because uh, just a small change, 10 miles, 20 miles, if the storm is going to end up offshore or onshore, could have a dramatic change in the temperatures and also the winds that we're expecting. Overall, this look like this low is going to track far enough inland to give us snow showers, but not going to be too bad with the winds. So really kind of a good spot for us, at least in Connecticut. Here's a look at a model projection at 4 p.m. looking at moderate and some of those heavy rain showers starting to rope their way in by the time we get to the evening. Wind speeds right now about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Groton 17 mile per hour winds leading the way. Bridgeport, you can see how the those east winds getting a nice fetch. So producing some uh, some stronger winds over there across the exposed shoreline. By 1.30 today, we're looking at wind speeds up to 30 miles per hour. And that's kind of the sweet spot for any sort of tree damage. So 30 to 40 miles per hour we don't want to see. Uh, so we're staying mainly below that, which is good. So power outages are possible. They're not out of the question, but they should be uh, very few of them. Um, so into Friday, we're also looking at those wind speeds, at least for Connecticut, not looking too bad. Uh, things a bit more on the on the stronger side for eastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Here's a look at our high temperatures for today. 50 degrees in Hartford, 49 in Vernon. Periods of rain, breezy and cool for us. A look at our seven-day forecast is going to have improving temperatures on Saturday and Sunday. So definitely something to look forward to. But Friday morning around 6, 7, 8 o'clock, we're going to see that switch over to snow. We could see briefly some roadways impacted by Snow showers in the morning, even when it's above 32 degrees, so watch out for that. And But overall, those snow accumulations for the lower elevations just on the vegetation, and then we'll see that snow melting. Peaking temperatures Tuesday, 68 degrees.
All right, thanks, Connor. It is almost 7.05. Eyewitness News is, of course, your vaccine authority. Now, even though the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has been tabled for now, we're learning that there are more opportunities to get your COVID-19 vaccine at sites across the state today. Hartford, New Haven, and Waterbury all have clinics that will be open. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Duclo has more now on what you need to know. Well, this was one of the clinics that was supposed to be giving out the one-and-done J&J vaccine. Now they will be giving out Moderna. So people will leave with their next appointment scheduled and a reminder card telling them when to come back. Health officials say they will then work with community partners to make sure that they can get in touch with folks and remind them to show up for that second shot so they can be fully vaccinated. Governor Lamont says the federal pause on the J&J &J vaccine is creating some extra challenges as they try to combat vaccine hesitancy. CDC is and FDA are erring on the side of extreme caution. One in a million is um, like getting hit by lightning. So uh, this should give you confidence that uh, they're not rushing any vaccines out there and whatever is out there is very safe. They're afraid. Yeah. And some of them say, oh, no, I'm not taking any shots now. I'll wait and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate. All right, that was Caitlin Nuclo reporting. The pandemic has certainly hurt many businesses, especially the restaurant industry, but health is on the way. Governor Lamont just signed new legislation that will allow restaurants to have more seating outdoors. This is how you bring your parks back to life, your restaurants back to life, and your towns back to life. So this started as an executive order, which means restaurants can have more leeway with outdoor dining until March of 2022. And more help is also coming from the American Rescue Plan. Through this, restaurants can apply for grants of up to $2 million. The U.S. is continuing to pause Johnson & Johnson's coronavirus vaccine. Vaccine advisors to the CDC put off making any decision yesterday about the single dose shot. They say they need more information about the rare blood clot that was reported in six women out of nearly 7 million Americans who received the vaccine. Dr. Anthony Fauci says pausing the Johnson & Johnson shot isn't the same as canceling it. The pause on the vaccine is likely to last at least another week. Thank you so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News on this Thursday morning. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app, and you're really going to want to pay attention to those weather updates. Snow? It's April 15th. <laughs> stay healthy, stay positive. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Watch us live wherever you are, on our mobile, on our streaming news app. And you can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.